Welcome to Who Died Today America, your daily source for remembering and honoring the lives of those who have passed and the legacies of the most notable personalities. Norman Reynolds, a visionary legacy. The film world mourns the loss of him, the Oscar-winning British production designer and art director responsible for the iconic look of Star Wars and Raiders of the Lost Ark. The winners are... Norman Reynolds... He passed away at the age of 89, leaves behind a legacy of groundbreaking designs that continue to inspire generations of filmmakers and fans alike. Steven Spielberg once described Reynolds as the creative core of the Star Wars and Indiana Jones franchises, praising his rare combination of humility and utter genius. His imaginative work is showcased in designs such as Yoda's Planet of Dagobah, well, I'm not going that way. the Carbon Freezing Chamber, and the Emperor's Throne Room. His influence on the Star Wars universe endures, with many of his designs incorporated into the Disney Plus series, The Mandalorian. Reynolds' collaboration with Spielberg extended to his role as production designer for Raiders of the Lost Ark in 1981, earning him his second Oscar. The memorable scene of Indiana Jones being chased by a massive boulder is just one example of his innovative designs. His adaptation of an authentic fertility figure into the iconic Golden Idol further demonstrates his creative prowess. Throughout his illustrious career, Reynolds designed sets for other notable films, including Superman, Empire of the Sun, Alien 3, Return to Oz, and the first mission, Impossible Film. He also worked as a second unit director on a live and special effects director for Exorcist the Three. In a statement, his family described him as a cherished husband, father, father-in-law, granddad, and great-granddad. They noted that behind his unassuming, funny, and affable exterior lay an enormously talented production designer who brought many of the films we all love to life through his iconic set designs. He was amazed at the fan base his work created and how much his work meant to them. But above all, he loved and delighted in his large and growing family. He died peacefully with his wife Anne and three daughters by his side. Despite his remarkable achievements, he remained modest about his work, often joking that he made biscuits instead of recounting his Hollywood experiences. Lucasfilm president Kathleen Kennedy lauded Reynolds as an exceptional person to work with and recognized his significant contributions to beloved stories that inspired generations of film designers. His iconic designs and visionary creativity will be remembered and cherished by film enthusiasts and professionals alike for generations to come. Tributes to Norman Reynolds Nora Forster, A Life of Love and Influence The world mourns the loss of Nora Forster, the wife of singer John Lydon, and mother of the late slit singer Ari Up. Forster passed away at the age of 80 after a long public battle with Alzheimer's disease. Lydon's social media announced her death. It is with a heavy heart that we share the sad news that Nora Forster, John Lydon's wife of nearly five decades, has passed away. Nora had been living with Alzheimer's for several years in which time John had become her full-time carer. She left behind a legacy of love, support and influence in the punk rock community. Forster, a German-born heiress of a publishing dynasty, was an early champion of the UK punk movement. Her nurturing spirit and passion for music led her to encourage her daughter, Ariane Forster, to pursue music from a young age. Ariane would later become Ari Up, founding the pioneering punk band The Slits, which opened for The Clash within a year of their formation. Nora Forster's impact extended beyond her own family, as she became a pillar of support for her husband, John Lydon. The couple met in 1975 at Vivian Westwood's iconic punk shop and married four years later. Their love story continued for nearly five decades until her passing. When Forster was diagnosed with Alzheimer's in 2018, Lydon stepped into the role of her full-time caretaker. Even amidst the challenges they faced, their love and dedication to each other remained unwavering. In a touching tribute, Lydon's band Public Image Limited performed Hawaii, a song he wrote about his wife, during Ireland's 2023 Eurovision Song Contest competition. In her final years, Forster's struggle with Alzheimer's brought attention to the disease and its impact on families. 
Lydon's open discussion of his experiences as a caregiver and his devotion to Forster revealed the depth of their love and the challenges they faced together. As we remember Nora Forster, we celebrate her influence on the punk rock community, her unwavering support for her family, and her inspiring love story with John Lydon. Her life serves as a testament to the power of love, resilience, and the importance of nurturing artistic talent. May her memory live on through the lives she touched and the indelible mark she left on the music world. Tributes to Nora Forster. Greg Francis. The sudden passing of him, former Olympian and University of Alberta Golden Bears basketball coach, has left the basketball community in mourning. The news has taken many of his former players, teammates and friends by surprise. While the exact cause of death hasn't been disclosed by the family, he was said to have been struggling with some debilitating effects of multiple sclerosis. He would have turned 49 on Tuesday, April 4th. His death came shortly after returning home to Toronto, following a trip back to Edmonton last week to visit his young daughter. At just 48 years old, his life was cut short, but his impact on the world of basketball and the lives he touched will forever be remembered. From his early days leading Oakwood Collegiate to an Ontario Provincial Championship in 1993, Francis exemplified dedication and hard work. His talents took him to Fairfield University, where he reached the NCAA tournament in 1997, defying the odds as an underdog. But his journey was far from over, as he went on to represent Canada at the 1998 FIBA World Championships, the 2000 Sydney Olympic Games, and the 2003 Tournament of the Americas. His passion for basketball extended beyond his playing career, making a seamless transition into coaching. He led the Canadian men's junior program from 2006 to 2011, instilling his knowledge, drive, and leadership in the next generation of players. Later, he returned to the men's national program as a coach, serving as Canada Basketball's men's high-performance manager. Under his guidance, the team secured gold at the 2017 FIBA U19 World Cup. Despite the personal challenges he faced, particularly the debilitating effects of multiple sclerosis, he never wavered in his commitment to the sport and the community. His leadership, both on and off the court, made a lasting impression on his players, fellow coaches, and countless others whose lives he touched. In the wake of his untimely passing, we remember Greg Francis not only as a talented athlete and coach, but as an inspiring figure who overcame adversity and dedicated his life to the sport he loved. His legacy will live on through the countless players he coached, the friendships he forged, and the lasting impact he made on the basketball community. As we mourn the loss of a remarkable individual, we celebrate his extraordinary contributions and the indelible mark he leaves behind. Tributes to Greg Francis. Bill Butler a cinematic visionary, Wilma C. Bill Butler, the self-taught, Oscar-nominated cinematographer who left an indelible mark on cinema history, has passed away at the age of 101. Known for his incredible work on the 1975 classic horror film Jaws, his exceptional eye for visual storytelling terrified beachgoers for generations. With a career spanning five decades, his contributions to the world of film were vast and varied. Among his notable works were Francis Ford Coppola's The Rain People and The Conversation, Peter Hyam's Capricorn One, Randall Kleiser's Grease, and the Rocky sequels, written and directed by Sylvester Stallone. Butler's skill and adaptability were further showcased when he stepped in to replace Haskell Wexler on Milos Forman's One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest and on The Conversation. His collaboration with director Steven Spielberg on Jaws resulted in iconic shots that are forever etched in the minds of audiences. Born in Cripple Creek, Colorado, and raised in Mount Pleasant, Iowa, his passion for film began at a young age. He graduated with a degree in engineering from the University of Iowa before pursuing a career in cinematography. With no formal film education, Butler learned his craft by watching movies and referring to the American Society of Cinematographers, ASC manual. His determination and hard work paid off, 
leading to fruitful collaborations with renowned directors like Francis Ford Coppola and William Friedkin. Throughout his career, he amassed numerous accolades, including two Emmy Awards for Raid on Entebbe and a streetcar named Desire, and the ASC's Lifetime Achievement Award in 2003. Bill Butler's innovative and influential body of work continues to inspire new generations of filmmakers. His dedication to his craft, ability to create striking visuals, and pioneering spirit have left an indelible mark on the world of cinema. As we remember and honor his life and achievements, let us celebrate the profound impact he had on the film industry and the countless lives he touched through his work. Tributes to Bill Butler. Philip Balsam, the talented Canadian composer and songwriter best known for creating the iconic music for the beloved children's series Fraggle Rock, has passed away at the age of 79. His passing was announced by Steele's Memorial Chapel, who shared that the musician was surrounded by his wife of 43 years and close friends at his Toronto home when he died. Though the cause of death was not disclosed, he had been diagnosed with giant cell arteritis two years prior and his health had rapidly declined in the weeks leading up to his passing. Tributes and heartfelt statements from fans and colleagues have been pouring in, celebrating the life and accomplishments of this sweet and brilliantly talented musician. Born in Europe, Balsam and his family survived the Second World War before moving to Canada, where he would live out the rest of his life. His music career spanned across television and theatre, contributing songs and scores to various programmes and plays, including Dog City, and Groundling Marsh. However, it was his work on Jim Henson's Fraggle Rock that solidified his place in the hearts of countless fans. With 190 songs written for the series, his memorable music helped define the whimsical world of Fraggle Rock. His contributions earned him a nomination at the 27th Annual Grammy Awards for Best Recording for Children. Additionally, Balsam received the Dora Maver Moore Award for Outstanding New Musical for his work in Mordecai Richler's Jacob Tutu meets the hooded fang. Philip Balsam's legacy is one of joy, creativity, and a deep love for music. His work on Fraggle Rock and other projects brought happiness and inspiration to millions of children and adults alike, creating a lasting impact that will be remembered and cherished for generations to come. His spirit will live on through the countless lives touched by his talent and passion. Tributes to Philip Balsam. William Billy Waugh, a true American hero, Green Beret, and CIA legend, has passed away at the age of 93. With an incredible career spanning over five decades and service in the Korean, Vietnam, and Afghanistan wars, his dedication to his country and his unwavering commitment to the cause of freedom will be remembered for generations to come. Born in Texas, Waugh enlisted in the Army at the young age of 18 after a previous attempt to join the Marines at 15. He earned his Green Beret in 1954 after serving a combat tour in Korea and remained in the Army's Special Forces until his retirement as a Sergeant Major in 1972. His exceptional skills and passion for service led him to join the CIA in 1977 as a paramilitary officer. His military and CIA career took him to 64 countries, where he engaged in various missions and operations that showcased his valor and expertise. In Vietnam, he fought alongside indigenous forces and was severely wounded in the Battle of Bong Son, earning him the Silver Star and one of his eight Purple Hearts. He would later participate in the US military's first ever combat high altitude low opening, Halo Jump, in 1971. After joining the CIA, war was involved in numerous counter terrorism operations, including the capture of Carlos the Jackal, one of the world's most wanted criminals at the time. War also tracked Osama bin Laden in Sudan and was one of the first Americans deployed to Afghanistan in the wake of the 9-11 attacks to hunt down al-Qaeda operatives. His life was one of service, dedication and sacrifice. His memoir, Hunting the Jackal, provides a glimpse into the life of an extraordinary man who put his country before himself. As Florida State Senator Jay Collins, 
A retired Green Beret and Afghanistan war veteran said, We will never know all the stories of Billy War. Frankly, the majority of them are still classified. A life dedicated to a cause greater than self, a life of sacrifice, and a life well lived. His legacy will forever serve as an inspiration for future generations of soldiers and patriots. Tributes to Billy War. Liz Sheridan, a timeless talent and beloved TV mum. The entertainment world has lost a cherished and versatile talent with the passing of Liz Sheridan at the age of 93. With a career that spanned film, television and theatre, she left an indelible mark on the hearts of fans and colleagues alike. Her career took off in the late 1980s when she played Raquel Okmanek on the hit TV series ALF. However, it was her iconic role as Jerry Seinfeld's mother, Helen, on the groundbreaking comedy series Seinfeld that solidified her status as a beloved figure in the industry. Her portrayal of Helen endeared her to viewers and made her an integral part of the show's enduring success. Beyond her work in television, she was a formidable presence in the theatre world. She appeared in 12 Broadway shows, including Happy End alongside Meryl Streep, and even performed a one-woman show called Mrs. Seinfeld Sings. Her passion for the stage and her ability to captivate audiences demonstrated the depth and range of her talent. In addition to her acting accomplishments, she was also an acclaimed writer. Her 2000 memoir, Dizzy and Jimmy, recounted her real-life love affair with James Dean, offering a glimpse into her personal life and the depth of her experiences. As the news of her passing broke, many of her former colleagues and fans expressed their love and admiration for her. Jerry Seinfeld, in a heartfelt tribute, wrote, Liz was always the sweetest, nicest TV mum a son could wish for. Every time she came on our show, it was the coziest feeling for me. So lucky to have known her. Liz Sheridan's passing is a great loss to the entertainment world, but her legacy will live on through the countless performances she graced us with over the years. Her warmth, talent and versatility will continue to inspire generations of actors and fans alike, ensuring that her impact on the industry will not be forgotten. Tributes to Liz Sheridan. Andres Garcia, a shining star in the world of telenovelas. A renowned Latin actor best known for his captivating roles in Mexican telenovelas, and as the star of the film adaptation of the comic series Chanock, has passed away at the age of 81. His widow, Margarita Portillo, announced his passing on Instagram, expressing her grief and sharing that she was by his side until his last breath. His death was due to hepatic cirrhosis, a severe scarring of the liver. Born in the Dominican Republic and later naturalized as a Mexican citizen, he became a household name in Latin entertainment. In addition to his iconic role in Chanock, Garcia's filmography includes La Noche del Halcón, Las Tres Magníficas, Minifaldas con Espuelas, and El Tinico. Garcia's illustrious career in the world of telenovelas spanned decades, with starring roles in titles such as Las Quemelas, Ana del Aire, Paloma, Amame, Tu Nadie, Escandalo, and Mi Nombre es Coraje. His captivating performances continued through the 1990s, with appearances in Herencia Maldita, La Mujer Prohibida, Con Toda el Alma, and El Privilegio de Amar. In the 21st century, Garcia starred in Univision's Mujeres Enganadas and Telemundo's El Cuerpo del Deseo. He returned to Televisa in 2007 to star in the series El Pantera, with his final acting credit in 2010 on an episode of the series Hey El Guianahi. Andres Garcia's magnetic presence on screen and his undeniable talent as an actor captured the hearts of viewers across generations. His ability to bring characters to life and captivate audiences through his emotional range left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. As we remember and honor the life and legacy of Andres Garcia, we celebrate the extraordinary impact he had on the telenovela industry and the countless lives he touched through his work. His contributions to the world of film and television will be cherished and remembered for generations to come. Tributes to Andres Garcia
Thanks for watching Who Died Today America. If you enjoyed this tribute, please give it a thumbs up and share with friends. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more inspiring stories. Leave a comment below telling us who inspired you the most. See you in the next video.